Just in time for their 40th birthday, the P Square twins, Peter and Paulo Koye, finally reunite in one of the most heartwarming videos making the rounds on the internet. Four years ago, the singing duo and identical twins fell apart over the music business and the women in their lives, causing them to rebrand into solo artists. While Paul rebranded in Rude Boy, Peter rebranded into Mr. P. However, like the popular saying that when twins get separated, their spirits fly away to look for the other, the P Square twins have finally put their differences aside as they were captured in a video hugging it out heavily in a video that has since gone viral. While the whole country has begun triumphing over the biggest reunion of the year, many who are yet to forget history cannot help but wonder the real reason behind their sudden reunite. And without looking too far, it looks like the P-Square twins have answered surreptitiously. This is coming after they decided to join the Davido 1 million naira challenge. Surprisingly, it wasn't to gift OBO but to put their fans to gift them 1 million naira in celebration of their reuniting. Hey! Share the test two heads, I bet that I want see one head. Make a turn on now, I'm gonna kill Molly for a this one will be seen at the coach. Oh, be Kubana! Kubana Chief Priest! I'm gonna tell everybody! Tony Elumelu! Even you, Davido! You too! Hmm. We don't start again, no. We don't start. Hey! Could it be that they are broke and reunited to get out of whatever financial situation they might be in because they are stronger together than apart? Hello guys, it's t -Code here for African Glitz. Two years after winning the Grab the Mic competition in 2001, Peter and Paulo Koye made their professional music debut in 2003, appearing as P-Square. Undoubtedly, Nigerians were enthralled by their music and sound, giving them a soft landing into the then-infant Nigerian music industry. In return, they blessed Nigerians with hit songs year in, year out, from Omogemi to Busy Body, Beautiful Onye, Roll It, Do Me, Temptation, Personally, Chop My Money, Ino Easy, and the list goes on. Indeed, they were such a terrific singing pair, with Paul famously known as the better songwriter and Peter known as the dancer and choreographer. And Nigerians just love them, making them the rave of the moment for years as they performed from one event to the other, also snagging awards back to back. However, 2016 started as a slow death for P-Square. There were several rumors of their breakup, but they tried to keep it all on the low, covering up their problems with the best PR tactics. But in 2017, the twins could not take it anymore, and they broke the brotherly bond and music bond between themselves, going their separate ways afterwards. Initially, reports had it that the problem was coming from Peter. In a video, we saw them almost exchanging blows as Paul threatened to beat his twin to a pop, while Jude, their big brother, doubling as their manager, promised to be the one to buy Peter's coffee. Shame on you! Peter, go and say shame on you! Go and stop it! Go and say shame on you! Go and stop your mind! Hey, shame on you! Go and stop your mind! However, Peter helped shed light on what went wrong during several interviews. He claimed Paul and Jude were sabotaging his growth and advancement and also relegating him. According to him, Paul was getting more promotions than him and even going behind his back to take credit for songs he wrote. Also, he accused his brothers of disrespecting him, but what broke the camel's back was when they started disrespecting his wife, Lola Omotayo. He said in an interview with Citizen TV, Kenya, 
I took a vow to protect my wife and kids the day that I got married and I stick to that. And that was it. They both rebranded almost immediately into solo artists. Despite their genius rebranding, their fans insisted that it sounded better together than apart and continued to call for their reunion at every given opportunity, especially on their birthday, November 18. But they always made it known that nothing would bring them back together. Even though their wives remained friends, Paul made it a duty to troll Peter's wife, Lola, on social media, slamming her with derogatory words each time. However, barely three months after reports of his divorce from Anita Okoye, his wife of seven years and mother of his three kids, it looks like the twins are finally reconciled. Many Nigerians started seeing this coming after Peter took his brother's kids shopping in the US, ensuring that Christmas came early for them. Later, the twins followed each other back on Instagram, just in time for Paul to celebrate his twin and his wife on their wedding anniversary. Surprisingly, just hours before their 40th big day, they were spotted hotly burying the archet and hugging out their differences on November 17, 2021. Peter Okoye on the same evening also hugged it out with his big brother, Jude Okoye. What the popular and well-loved duo did next shocked many. They shared their account details for fans to bless them with 1 million naira each like David O fans and friends are doing. This has raised suspicion that their money bag may be fast drying like the Nigerian Foreign Reserve and it could be the real reason they reunited. More so, some fans also noticed that he did not give David O one milli after he called them out and never shared the donation just like he did everyone else. Uh, Jude, Peter, Paul, oh yeah, when I don't reunite, Abby, oh yeah, share my money, sharp, sharp, now Mr. Tamo, remember who? Indeed, the music industry has not mainly been fair, welcoming and favorable to the P-Square twins after they went solo. They have barely been producing hit songs and it's still a misery while they are still even a little relevant today. Root boy Paul Okoye, boasting 7.6 million followers, managed to make two hit songs since they went solo, Woman and Reason With Me, a song that generated the highest views on YouTube in 2019. Peter Okoye, the self-styled Mr. P, is not left out of this. Even with the over 11 million followers on Instagram, it looks like he has had the most challenging time convincing fans to take his music seriously. From Paloma to Lola Diego, Too Late and many others, Mr. P is barely topping the charts anywhere. Clearly, they were better together than apart as their individual music lacked the magic, vibe and sound many loved about P-Square. Also, courtesy of the untimely visit of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, it looks like both their careers suffered a huge blow. More interestingly, in the last four years since they went solo, the music industry has seen the largest influx of new artists and even better sound and vibe that millennials and Gen Z seems to love, making the competition for relevance and visibility harder for the twins. Their individual record label doesn't seem successful as well as they have not been able to sign a talented and popular artist yet, unlike when they were still together. All of this surely must have put a dent in their finances, reducing their income from music. To cap it all, reports have it that Paul and Anita Okoye, who relocated to America, have decided to go their separate ways and Anita is asking for 7.6 million naira monthly in child and spousal support, preparing Paul for a long time huge spending. These realizations and more may have hit the P-Square boys hard, causing them to figure out what Nigerians know already that they are better together than apart and in the face of difficulties, family sticking together may be the best option. Hence, they are sudden reunite. To cash of this, many are expecting a collab between the twins, but the question of if they will rebrand back to P-Square remains debatable. However, their words and body language suggest they could be heading that way, giving their fans what they really want. What do you think about the probable reason the P-Square twins reunited after four years? Do you agree they reunited due to the financial difficulty ahead of them? Do you also think they are better together than apart? Lastly, do you think their reunion will be temporal or permanent as they have been on and off before? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. 
click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one. Let's go!